All right, howdy folks, and welcome back to Warno. Today we have some of the newly added US and Soviet Airborne Division gameplay in the background, but I really wanted to talk about some of the new stuff they have recently put into the game, as well as what they're going to be adding in the near future, which includes new divisions and new nations. But first, the American 82nd Airborne were added in the last update called Lens, which is who I am playing as today, with the Soviet counterpart being added in in the form of the 35th Guards Air Assault Brigade. A huge part of what sets these divisions apart is the airborne forward deployment for a lot of their units, and it's something they share with some recon forces as well. Now, a lot of the units that can be realistically flown into battle on helicopters or even planes can be deployed ahead of regular units at the start of the battle, which can give you a huge edge by reaching certain areas before the enemy can. Now here I actually deployed airborne units and trucks, as well as all sorts of Humvees armed with ATGMs, Mark 19s, and even some towing Vulcan anti-aircraft guns ahead of the main force of Abrams and the new Sheridan light tank. This update also saw the addition of two new maps, a 3v3 map called Triple Strike and the 2v2 map Vertigo which you see here in the background. Now Vertigo has a lot of elevation on the sides of the map with the middle being more or less open terrain broken up by some tree lines. There are more new units in this update. The Americans get access to the Avenger Humvee AA system, which carries big old rockets to deal with enemy helicopters, as well as the AH-1 ATAS Cobra for anti-air duties, which we'll see later on in this video. Now, it's a shame that the Soviets didn't bring many of their new airborne units out in this video, but I'll probably get to them in a future video video, but besides a bunch of new airborne squads, they also got the famous BMD-1 and BMD-2 airborne APCs to transport these new squads, and the BMD-1 and BMD-2 are basically airborne or air transportable versions of the BMP-1 and BMP-2. The new and intimidating KA-50 helicopter, as well as the 2S-9 Nona and 2B-9 Veselek artillery systems were added to the Soviet roster. Now, personally, I am very excited to see some airborne representation in Warno. It's a shame that they sort of retracted the statement made before release about in-battle paratroopers, probably because it would have been pretty hard to balance planes flying overhead and dropping paratroopers out. However, with the forward deployment and some special airborne-only vehicles, they seem to have tried to go for some sort of intermediate solution, giving airborne some advantages without being able to drop them from the sky hundreds at a time market garden style. I already talked about how I deployed some Humvees towing Vulcan AA weapons, but actually more towed units having been added in this update, mostly mortar and AA units. So with this update being complete, the developers have started new work on two new future updates, Messina and Bessier. Hopefully I pronounced those correctly. Messina, which will be the next upcoming update, will see two new divisions, one for East Germany and one for West Germany. But before we dive deeper into the information about that, there is a little teaser for the update after the next one which will see British and French finally making it into the game as their own faction. We have seen some units alongside some of the NATO divisions, but here we finally have confirmation. In a few months, we'll have British and French factions in the game, and I'm obviously going to make videos on both of those uh, whenever the early access version of Warno gives me access to those units. So these new German divisions are going to be territorial commands. Another uh, goal's IRL were to prevent sabotage by enemy special forces and to protect key locations, infrastructure, and just generally army assets behind friendly lines, mostly from enemy paratroopers. This means that these are usually equipped with second line troops and material. However, this is alleviated by the fact that these divisions will get heavy anti-air and artillery cards to make up for their shortcomings. The new West German division and its makeup has been let out for us already, the new Territorial Commando Sud. This new division will actually also see some French reinforcements as part of the battle group with gazelle helicopters as well as Helleborn infantry specialized in anti-tank warfare. 
Infantry in the new division will be a mix of cheap infantry in the form of veterancy locked low quality troops as well as Milan 1 and M40 recoilless rifles teams. Now Jaeger infantry can opt to deploy in M113s giving them a little bit of protection but all the other infantry is to be deployed in unarmored trucks. However, the French air mobile squads are deployable in Super Puma helicopters supported by French Milan 2 ATGM teams should make up for the lower quality German infantry. Some interesting units in the tank and vehicle category, though again lower quality, of the regular German M48 Pan armed with the 90mm gun, but there also is a variant armed with the M60's 105mm gun, though obviously a bigger gun on a smaller tank without as much armor will mean these M48's are going to go down just as easy as their 90mm armed versions. Furthermore, the German Kanonen Jagdpanzer armed with a 90mm tank gun makes an appearance as well as the French Peugeot P4 Jeep equipped with the Milan 2 ATGM launcher to make for some decent hit and run attacks on Soviet or East German armor. As mentioned, the AA and artillery tabs are where this division is really going to shine, with the AA tab having Roland 2 and Roland 3s, as well as a towed IHAWK anti-air system. These are also supported by Fliegerfaust manpad teams, as well as more towed anti-aircraft systems in the form of the FK-20, as well as a 40mm Bofors anti-aircraft gun. Artillery-wise, you can expect a self-propelled 120mm mortar, a heavy FH 155mm howitzers, as well as smaller M1A2 howitzers and Tompella 120mm mortars. Some more French units show up in the recon tab, which, as the devs say, isn't very good, with armed and unarmed gazelles making up the helicopter recon and small German Aufklärer recon teams making up the ground-based recon. Now, more French gazelle helicopters run out the helicopter category with no German helicopters to use, the Gazelle Cannon, as well as the Gazelle Hot 1 and 2 helicopters armed with ATGMs will be the only way for this division to provide air-to-ground attack power using helicopters. Now, the German and French Air Forces share the plane category with the Luftwaffe's F4F filling all sorts of roles, supported by the new F-104G bomber. The French Air Force lends support through Mirage 2000C fighters and Mirage 5F cluster bombers. The developers describe this division as good on the defense or as a supporting division due to having a lot of infantry and tanks, though they are very cheap with the good anti-air and artillery tabs. The devs are actually very active in the comments section underneath the announcement post and it stated they are adding these divisions to be used in the upcoming Army General campaigns. Personally, I like Warno, and I think it has come quite a way from when I first made videos on it. Now, I would love to get my hands on some of their Army General campaigns sooner than later, as it's what's really appealed to me in Steel Division 2, uh, and more so than playing a random one-off battle, such as the one in the background. If the Army General campaigns in Warno will be anything like they are currently in Civil Division 2, we have a really good Cold War RTS with both PvP and co-op options on our hands. For now, Warno is a decent game to check out once every while for people like myself who just aren't huge on these one-off PvP battles. I'd much rather do an entire campaign. Now, I'm really looking forward to both the scripted missions and Army General campaigns. I'm excited to see what they're actually going to give us when it comes to these scripted missions, as well as future new divisions like the Belgian one they more or less confirmed and the Dutch one they teased a while back. With just so many options for other divisions from all over Europe, from Sweden to Poland to Italy to Czechoslovakia and even Spain, and a lot more, we have a lot of exciting times ahead of us. For now, I hope you enjoyed this quick look ahead at what Warno will offer in the next update or two, and a quick look at their latest update showcasing the new American Airborne Division. And like I said, at some point down the line, I'll most likely do a quick look at the Soviet Airborne Division, probably in a cinematic video. This brings us to the end of this video. Stay safe out there, and I hope to catch you in the next one.
enemy air defense. Ready to fire. Everyone out. I'm checked in ready. Don't do anything I move. I'm listening, Captain. Nearby. If the enemy is in range, so are we. It's gonna rain down on them crawlers. The captain and his crew welcome you aboard. Need us, sir. Let's hope there won't be any enemy air defense. I need that tail rotor checked. Let's hope there won't be any enemy air defense. I need that tail rotor checked. Captain and his crew welcome you aboard. Brace yourself, we're flying in. Yes, sir. Go in there. Beware, Tommy's nearby.
Engine is running. We're waiting. 